Hey, everyone. It's your boy, Sammy Caps. How are you? I just had this crazy RNG happen last night, and I had to share it with you guys. Uh, some of you may be aware that I am leveling a rogue, and with the premise of doing uh, the detonating arrow marksman build, it's an OP build. It just obliterates the screen, and one of the main components of this build is the gel cores blast knife dagger and you need two of them um and one of the main requirements of the attributes is that you get minus mana cost for detonating arrow now detonating arrow is the major damage skill that you use for this build now, you, you equip two of these daggers, these unique daggers, and in order to make the mana cost for detonating arrow is eight mana. So the premise is equipping two of these daggers and combining them both that give you at least minus eight mana cost when, um, deton detonate, when using detonating arrow, sorry. Um, but... I've been chasing these daggers now. I think I'm somewhere in level 70. Um, and this uh, dagger is very common to drop, but for whatever reason has not dropped for me. I've had literally every single other unique dagger in the game uh, drop for me. Now, the Gel Chorus Blast Knife Dagger, the unique one, um, is a level 36 requirement. So you can have these equipped really early on in the game. Um, but like I said, RNG has not been on my side until yesterday and this happened. Now, before I show you the tape, the video, sorry, this was basically a prophecy that I got um, I'm Circle of Fortune, and of course, because I'm trying to get these unique daggers, I'm trying to get as many prophecies with unique daggers dropping. In this case, the prophecy was for a... I had to kill a mage in the monolith, okay? And I would have received... Uh, I think it was two daggers. The prophecy was for two daggers, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so this is in relationship to how you use the faction system in order to target farm what you're looking for. So I've had this prophecy. Actually, I didn't have it too long. If I'm not mistaken, I've literally, I think I got it that same day. But the problem was, for whatever reason, every monolith and echo I was running there was no mage in sight. I literally wiped the whole map searching for the mage in, on the map. And I literally went 10, 15 times without finding any. And just out of curiosity, uh, I would love to hear from you guys. Have you guys run into this problem where you're running monoliths and map after map after map there's no there's no mage on the map like i literally got to the point where okay i'm 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 not clearing another full map again that's how now thank god on this map i did um but the rng was just crazy so this is what happened last night i still can't believe it roll the tape Ah, sorry. I have a couple. What am I talking about? Okay, am I good to go? We're good to go. Don't kill me. Please, 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 RNG. Please, RNG. Please, RNG. <laughs> That's one. Minus five mana cost. Let's go. Please, 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 please. Please, please, please. One more. 
Let's go! Minus four mana cost! Oh my god! I don't give a shit. The rest of those are... Minus nine mana cost. I'm in business. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Let's equip those puppies. One, two, one. Oh, shit. I didn't even see the LP on it. Two LP. Two. Both are two LP. Wow. <laughs> I still. Chat was like streamer luck, streamer luck, streamer luck. It was friggin'. Um, I was so ecstatic. Um. I got minus five on one of the daggers and minus four for a total of minus nine mana cost for detonating arrow. Like, unbelievable. Not only was it wow, out of the two daggers that dropped, both of them were the ones that I needed. Not only that, but then the other worry is that you get, you don't get an, you don't, the two of them don't combine for mine at least minus eight mana cost for detonating arrow. And in my case, not only did both of them drop of the ones that I needed, not only were they above minus eight mana, but both of them to put the cherry on top, but both of them are two LP, two legendary potential. So now I can further slam uh, an exalt onto this. This is crazy, just the RNG luck that I got. Now, if you think that ended there, <laughs> it didn't. What it ended up happening is um, obviously the next thing you want to do, because managing mana with the detonating arrow marksman build is very crucial in this build. So you can just spam. Spam, spam, spam um, the explosive traps, right? Um, so it's very important that on your rings, typically that's where you want to put them, you get minus throwing attack mana damage, okay? Um, so I managed to craft a pretty decent ring with the minus three throwing attack mana cost. But then on the same... <laughs> Just the RNG is crazy. I got, and typically you want two uh, on both. You want this minus three throwing attack mana cost on both rings. I got it to drop with a tier five minus three throwing attack mana cost on another ring. I didn't even have to craft it. It dropped with it. Not only that, it. <laughs> I still can't believe it. It came with... Tier 5 Lightning Dance. So 42% increased crit strike, 42% increased lightning damage, which lightning damage just, it's crazy good on this build. Like I said, plus 11 throwing damage, minus 3 throwing attack mana cost. Tier 5, okay? I have on this ring three tier 5s, lightning damage, Throwing damage and reduced mana cost and critical strike avoidance. All tier five on this ring. And I have block chance, block effectiveness, and again, 30% crit strike avoidance. Like, that's it. I'm, I'm convinced that my RNG is over and I'm not going to get anything good to drop for at least a month. Because this was insane. I went from literally not getting anything for this build to just about getting a good chunk of what I need. So the other things that I'm going to need is going to require me to go into the Temporal Sanctum dungeon. And I believe there are four tiers, like I've never ran them yet, uh, the Sanctum dungeon, but I believe there's four tiers. So we'll see. I, I want to build up uh, a little bit more before I go there, but I'm currently level 74. And I have to say, 
if you have not tried the detonating arrow marksman, whew, I'll put a link of the description and the build uh, in the link in the video description. And I want to give a shout out to Rax. This is I'm following his guide on the build. Um, it 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 annihilates. Um, if this does not get nerfed, this is going to be my Uber driver for all of my builds. And what do I mean by that is I'm literally going to annihilate every single thing in the game with this build. And I'm just going to get prophecies for other builds and just put them in my stash. So all my other builds down the road already have the gear or well, at least the majority of what they need. Uh, I'm planning on deciding one character and for this, this is my soft core. Uh, I was doing it on hardcore as well, and I've built up my stash nicely on hardcore as well. But on soft core, I want to have one character can, that can just demolish the screen and demolish all the content in the game. And therefore, through the Circle of Fortune, I can just get the prophecies for all the classes, for all the gear, for all the weapons, and just put them in the stash and... Uh, I'm set up for whatever kind of class or mastery I want to play. So we'll see how this pans out as long as it doesn't get nerfed. But I just wanted to make this video to just crazy RNG that happened in the last 24 hours for me. I've never had this kind of RNG luck. Um, it's just crazy, crazy unbelievable. And th this is what makes Last Epoch so much fun the fact that the anticipation of waiting for that drop that you need or that you want that takes your character to the next next level so much fun so much fun and if you haven't tried last epoch i highly recommend it it's only 35 dollars. it's a great game and it's only going to get better don't get me wrong there's a lot of things that need to be addressed and fixed in this game um, but it's coming down this is its first step into full release it's a first cycle of the game and cycle is like seasons um for other games uh so this is this game if they continue to build like they have been building it it's only going to get better uh so i highly recommend it anyway just wanted to share my rng drops <laughs> in the last 24 hours crazy i'm set to go i i I ran a couple of Echoes and Monoliths uh, after I got this drop, and I've been fine-tuning the character, and it's just getting stronger. It's It was already strong without the daggers and 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 without the rings uh, with the throwing mana cost reduction. It's just a beast of a beast, and it's so, so much fun. You are obliterating everything. It's so much fun. Anyway, I highly recommend the game. I highly recommend this build. You might want to play it and try it because I suspect they may do something. Hopefully not, but uh, only time will tell. Anyway, I want to thank everyone for watching. And oh, by the way, catch me later on tonight. We will be streaming 3.24 Necropolis League. Path of Exile drops today when the, this video is going to be dropping the day that necropolis is going to be dropping so catch me live that evening tonight uh on twitch sammy caps is the channel i'll be streaming 3.24 necropolis league path of exile i will be my league starter is going to be a detonating dead elementalist i haven't played path of exile uh, for a while I dabbled a little bit into 3.23 but other games came out that gravitated to me and I, I left and went to go play those so it's been a good four or five months since I've played Path of Exile so I'm looking forward to it come on over tonight and watch me on Twitch Sammy Caps I would love to have you and if you're a seasoned veteran of Path of Exile come on in I could use all the tips and help but anyway thanks for watching everybody and if you can like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And as always, hope to see you next time. Take care. The opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine. Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed.
So get over it.